So I thought I would do a video on what we got uh, Zoe for her first birthday and I also thought I'd go through how we um, pick what we buy for them and um, our budget and stuff afterwards. So I'll go through what she got first. So first off I'll start with her clothes. I generally always get them clothes for their first birthday. So I got her this cute little parrot t-shirt then I got her these cute cat like dress overalls and I just brought a plain white $2 tee from Kmart to go with that and then I got these at Kmart as well I thought they were cute and the same just a plain white $2 t-shirt and I actually got this for Zoe when she was a couple of months old um so I liked it because it's Zoe the zebra so it's a cute little zebra book. I honestly have never read what's in, in it. But I thought it was cute for her. It has her name on it. And then I got her this Sophie Peekaboo Colours book. She likes to hold the books. I might have always liked the peekaboo -y type books. So I got her that. Then I got her this little doll. Bella had one that went into the pram, but we can't seem to find it. So I got her her own. And then I got her this. She likes this at the shop. It sings and stuff. So she likes that thing. Anything that talks, sings. And that. And then this little pink hair bear. Um, it also sings. And now the book's not going to stop seeing talking. So I got her that as well. I thought it was cute. And pink, I guess. And then she, every time we go to a toy store, she absolutely loves this thing. So I got her that as well. So how we do their birthday um, presents and all that, so before Tyler's birthday, which is currently our first birthday of the year, um, it'll end up being the new babies. Um, we decide in our budget for that year how much or what we want to get them. So some years we'll want to get them a bigger item, so if they all, all want like a bike or a DS or something like that, then we'll decide that everyone will get a big present and then X amount of little presents. So last year it was five presents. No chocolates or anything. Because this year, if you've noticed, all of them got a box of cereal and a chocolate or a snack that they like. Um, so this year we did ten small presents. Um, no one got anything big or over $50. Um, they knew that from the start. So in their list they had to work out what they wanted that was under $50. Um, Andrew was the exception with something. He wanted a book set that was $80. Um, but it counted as two, book, uh, two presents and he was fine with that. So we did that. So we don't do, but except the first birthday, I only ever buy them about five-ish pre presents. So... Yeah, so that's the only ex exception with that. And obviously once I am, Andrew gets older, I might change it again for the other end. Obviously once they're sort of 16-ish, I might change it to something different as well. But for now, it's a year-by-year -year choice of what we can afford and what we think everyone needs. This year we found that they all need little things um, to go with the big items they already had. So... And it's worked out quite well. They've all liked the quicker little things they've got. And they've all loved having their cereal and snack and stuff. So that's worked out well. I don't know what we'll do next year. That will come when I do our 2018 budget. We'll work out what we can do towards that. 
So the budget for this year was around about 100, 150 uh, all up. So some went over, I think Andrew was the only one that went over actually. But then I think it was Joel and Harry only spent 70 or 80 dollars. This one, so Zoe was, actually Zoe was about 100. So yeah, I'm guessing because their clothes um, are obviously a little bit more per item. So yeah, so every year is different. Other years we've spent five or six hundred dollars each on them. So yeah, every year is different. Um, we don't favour one child over another. Every child gets the same throughout the year. So yeah, that's how we do that. So thanks for watching guys. Like, subscribe and comment below. Bye. Say bye.